notice when I swirl the cup and the water, we get that nice bowl shape. And that's going to let the ping pong ball stay right in the middle. It's going to stop it. Notice I put the ping pong ball in there. It always wants to float to the side. We may talk about that in another experiment. It's a property of basically the shape of the surface of the water. But we can change that shape by swirling it. And then the ping pong ball will fall to the bottom of the bowl. Basically, ah, try it again. Good enough, you got to swirl it just right. There we go. Notice how it stays right in the middle and spins now. So now, if we drop it, 